Hey guys, um, Bass Anglers NC here. It's uh, me and Parker. For our first video, we're gonna um, go over our tackle and stuff. So this is our first video, so we're gonna bring you a lot of unboxings and stuff like that. So we're gonna do some fishing stuff with bass and everything. So yeah, here's Parker for his tackle first. All right, up here. I just have some uh, spinner sp spinner baits. I I got this one today at Bass Pro. Oh, come on, flip around. Come on, come on. All right, it has a little has the fish right there. Yeah, and then <clears throat> and then I just have a bunch of simple ones like this. That. Uh, the same one as the second one, but I put a little whatever that thing is on it, and then the same one as the third or the second one, and then a really old one that my friend gave me, and then this one was a pretty good one. All right, and then. Close that. And I have a Plano a Flip Cider 3 tray box. And let's take this thing off here. And it has, and that's where the spinner baits go. And then up here, I just have some miscellaneous hooks. And then some of those little things. <laughs> some of those little things that I put on one of my spinner baits. And a bobber, screwdriver, some little hooks for perch and small small fish. Um, a lure, another lure. Those are just something my dad gave me. Um, a jig head, I guess. Uh, a homemade lure, which I've never tried out. And then some of these sea or ocean things. Lures. They work pretty good in the ocean, but I have never tried them in a, on a lake. And some trout for uh, fly fishing. And then another bass lure. And then right here I have a Rapala Shad Wrap uh, bass lure. This thing, pretty good. And I have another one, but it's in something else. And then I have one of these. Not really sure what it's called, but I have two of those actually. And then right here I have a, uh, a topwater bass lure, I guess. And then there's just some old one my brother gave to me. He found it one day in the lake. And then, here's just like a, I don't even know what this thing is, but it's pretty heavy. It's got some good weight on it, but it, it sinks to the bottom. And then, a diving bass lure, and some ocean weights. Some, I have a couple three ounce, some two ounce, and a couple four ounce. And then, another bobber. Some mustad uh, hooks I got at the beach. Some more fly fishing trout lures. A bee. A couple of those. And there's one more in there. It's uh, this one. Right here. It's pink. I like that pink color. And these are a couple of uh, lures I made myself. Not really sure what they are, but I just made them. I got bored one day. I have two in there. And then here is some, I don't even know. And then here's a bunch of those things from the other thing that I'm going to show you in a little. And then some Charline Berkeley 8 pound test. And some Sea Strike uh, orange beads for my catfish rig. And 
and I just got this the other day. It's a fillet knife. Let Christopher get it out for you. It's nice, and it floats too, so, so nice. Haven't got the chance to try it out yet, but hopefully soon. And then some wire cutters, because I lost my needle nose pliers. I dropped them in the lake. And this is also something I got a couple, or a, a few days ago. My papa gave it to me. And it's a, it's a bobber. It's a Donald Duck bobber. And I have a, a, uh, what's his name? The dog? I think Snoopy. Snoopy. I have a Snoopy uh, one, too. And then, right here, I just put this in uh, last night. My switchblade. And then, right here, I have some eagle claw. Uh, catfish. Snelled fish hooks. They have the little. It's uh. Hang on, let it zoom. Well, it has the barb, and then it has two barbs on the on the back. So. Okay. And then I have. Um, I don't even know the brand. Six fish hooks, they're just some little tiny hooks. Snowed gold Aberdeen hooks, whatever that means. And here I have a, um, uh, off the, a surf or off the pier fishing at the, oh, in the, at the beach rig. And then here's a sabiki rig. This thing works real well, really well. It's for small fish like perch and bluegill and stuff like that. It works really well. I had another one, but it's in a tackle box at my house. And then I have just a bunch of these things. These, like, worm worms. So, and then I have another ocean and pier. Here, or surf and pier. And that's all for this tackle box of mine. And here's Christopher with his tackle box stuff. Um, to start off, the top, we have a bag, just for my salt bait. Have zoom, 8 inch, magnum lizard, watermelon red. Have some white horny toads. Um, that's more seven inch, six inch lizards with just watermelon. Have some artificial blood worms for salt water. I have Berkeley gulp, um, swimming mullet for salt water. Also have some Gary Amodos, um, five inch. So yeah, those are good. Then, have normal bobbers, weights, everything. So there's that. There's the top part. Bottom part. We have my hard baits, which some of them are not in there, because I'll show you guys after this. We just have just a little bug. Works okay. Um, got another one. I think they came in two. I got a spro frog. Okay. I don't really like the colors. I don't know what else I'm thinking. I have a little John. It's a bigger one. Bigger version. Deeps. Pretty. I have a spro rattler. Um, so, okay. Caught a couple off that. Um, then I have the salt water thing. It's okay. I'm, it's just for salt water. Then I have another one of those, and I have um, two rooster tails. That one, my friend made me. And the other one, I just made by rooster tail, hooked onto the other something. So, and, I, and then I have two of Paul's, the tails on the end of them. Which work well. Those are hard dates. 
soft bricks again. As you can tell, I have a lot of soft bricks. Have some crawfish. That's the pumpkin seed color. Looks really good. Um, have some slugs. These are hard to find. They work really well in the water because they have those little two indents. They work well. Those. Um, I have a mixture of stuff. Something dyed them all red. I guess one dyed them all. So I'm not doing that again. I have some more that dyed them. Then I have some more. These are the 4 inch watermelon. Red. And I have another 4 inch watermelon red. So, the last one. Which I have about six gotcha lures, one with a tail. Add to the same thing. These work really well for Spanish mackerel, um, bluefish off the pier, and these jig heads. They're just normal jig heads. Um, you're gonna use these with the Berkeley Gulp. Swimming mullet, you just put it on the head of that. These things work great for wade fishing. You catch flounder, um, flounder, croakers, Spanish, I mean, um, trout. Um, and maybe sometimes you can catch um, a drum with it. It's really rare though, but I've seen a guy catch one. So, yep, there's our tackle. Hope you enjoyed.